Coming up this week on Riding with Re, Woody versus Statue, take two. It's all right. Oh, <laughs> whoa, it's all right. Whoa. This is Riding with Re. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. I am sharing my experience of having bought my first horse as an adult in Surrey, as well as stories from the equestrian world. Now, it has been a busy few weeks at Riding with Re. I have been crying, I've been for a dressage schoolmaster lesson, working on my position, going and driving a horse box for the first time, and I decided that we needed to just have a little bit of fun. So today, Woody and I are heading to the local pub for breakfast. Now, before we fully dive into today's pub ride, where you see a little bit more of Woody's spooky side I do want to give a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video Equilab. Equilab is a smartphone app that I've had in my phone for well over a year now and what it does is allow you to track your riding here in the arena and out hacking which is personally where I use it most. Not only does Equilab allow you to see how long you've been riding for and how far you've gone but you can also analyze the number of transitions you've done during that ride so how much time you spent in walk, trot, canter and gallop as well as the actual number of times that you went into walk trot canter and gallop and for me that particular feature is what makes their safety tracking feature so valuable it's personally my favorite part of the equilab app and it's something that i don't go hacking without the safety tracking feature is a link that you can send to anyone on the web via whatsapp messages messenger facebook email and it lets them follow your ride in real time they don't have to have the app they don't even have to be a horsey person but what they will be able to see is exactly where you are, where you've already been, and crucially, what speed you have and are going at. For example, if you've seen that I've done walk, trot, a bit of canter, and then I suddenly start galloping and come to a dead stop and haven't gone any further, that to me is an indication that something has gone wrong. And they will be able to see that on the app as well as knowing exactly where I am. For me, this is particularly important as, as horse riders, we're often riding in rural areas without really specific landmarks around us at all time so having somebody who knows exactly where you are where you've been and where you're heading is really important to me furthermore being able to send this link to anyone at any time is really really special if I'm riding at home on the yard I might want to send it to my yard manager you might want to send it to a parent or a friend but if you're suddenly away for the weekend on a beach holiday for example it may no longer make sense to send it to those people but perhaps you might want to send it instead to the person that you're sharing an Airbnb with for example so of course I'll be using using Equilab today as I venture out on this brand new route with Woody on my own and I'll be showing you how I use it as we go throughout. In the meantime, if you're interested in learning more about Equilab, I've put all of the details in the description. Mr. Wood, he's not very awake. Are you sleepy? He's absolutely covered as well. I don't even know if you can see it on the GoPro, but you are covered in mud, aren't you? Woody is all clean, still looking very sleepy. We'll get his back and then we shall head off. Then we both need some coffee this morning. It's not even 10 a.m. and the flies are already so bad today. So I have the power phaser, which is expensive, but actually really good fly spray. Woody doesn't love it, but he's got so much better. Good boy. And he gets a little treat when I'm done. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Yeah. And then we'll just do his face which I can't do holding my GoPro. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. But I have this gel um, and I use it with a sponge. That's how I put it on his face rather than spray because that's, it's a bit intense. Now, in terms of what I'm putting in my backpack, I have obviously a head collar because I'm gonna tie up and probably untack when we get there. 
I also have one of these, a Vitamunch cube. Um, it's essentially like grass and hay in a cube. Um, and I have a hay net to put that in. I've been wanting to use it for ages. I got it in a Neddy & Co equestrian mystery box like months ago. Um, and it's just a really easy way to take some food for Woody when we get there because I don't know if where we tie up will have grass. And obviously I don't want him stood there for like an hour without having anything to eat. So I'm gonna take this, super easy to transport. And then I have a plastic bag to put it in on the way home. Let's go. So as I mentioned earlier, before I even step foot out of the yard, I'm opening up my smartphone, getting Equilab up, starting a ride and sending that safety tracking link to a contact of my choice and they're going to keep an eye on me as I embark on this brand new hack with Woody which honestly as you'll see in today's hack was very much a necessity oh. Oh, come on we're on our way Backpack, Woody, we'll see you at the pub. <laughs> Bit of extra fly spray. There we are, Woody. <laughs> no way. It's a backpack, it's all right. Good boy. Oh, well done. Right. Is that going to shut? No. It's all right. Don't freak out. Walk on. Good. I just want to shut it gently. Because you might well come back this way. Good boy. Done, Mr. Woodward. Good boy. Another patchy pony. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Thank you. You've got one just up the head as well, but she's going the other way. Good boy. Thank you. Good lad. You too. Good boy. Thanks. Good boy. Well done. We have met like the nicest cyclist ever today, Woody. What lovely people. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're doing great. <laughs> have a nice ride. Thank you. So the whole point of this ride really was to just go out, have fun, not worry about our position and just enjoy each other's company. And as I was riding, I was really flooded with these memories from my childhood. I used to ride a little grey uh, pony called Otto, thanks to his wonderful owners. And Otto and I would go out for hours and hours and hours together um, across the Cotswolds. And it was actually the reason I got my first phone, which was a Nokia 3310, so that I could have it when I was riding Otto. And this one day I'd been out for hours and you know I'd gone down this winding winding bridle path for ages quite a lot like this really trees covered over and I emerged on this main road and I didn't know where I was and this was before obviously smartphones and google maps and everything so I called my mum and I'm like hey mum I don't know where I am so we did some sort of manual triangulation and uh, she's like can you see a church spire can you see this what can you see any road signs and so for a few seconds I can hear her tapping on her keyboard on her computer at work looking at google maps and trying to figure out where I am and then there's just this silence and then she suddenly goes you're over there how did you get over there you need to get home quickly before it gets dark so cue Otto and I trotting all the way home because we'd got lost but yes it really was like the best summer ever and it really I really felt reconnected to that love of riding on my ride with Woody today so it was lovely. Pay attention Woodward. No good looking over there if you trip over your feet is there? <laughs> I 
can't open the gate if you don't go up to it. Come on. Good. One. That's it. Boy. just pausing the video here to say boy oh boy if that gateway wasn't a sign of things to come <laughs> sit back grab your popcorn and enjoy <laughs> know what you're looking at to be fair it's all just a bit new isn't it that's all right that's all right oh <laughs> whoa it's all right whoa it's all right it's all right Ooh. Yeah, come for it. It's the bear. <laughs> it's all right. Ooh. Ooh. It's all right. No, come by. Thank you. Bear. Come on. You can. You can do it. Good boy. Good boy. Yep. That's all right. You can walk this side. I don't mind. But we have to go forward. You have to go forward. Good boy. Take a breath. You're fine. Now walk on. Woody, walk on. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Okay. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Woody, it's a statue. Walk on. Boy. Look, the cyclist is going past and he's fine. Come on. Good boy. It's all right. No, come on. Come on. Come on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Good boy. It's okay. That's it. Good. I know. Right, now we're going to go past the bear again because it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Come on. Good. 
good boy. Snack, mate. All that drama, hey? There's a good boy. Hi, I'm outside, but I can't come in because I have my horse and I haven't got anywhere to tie him up. Um, I've not been to this pub before, but I wondered if it's possible to order a bit of food and some um, and a drink. Stand there. Oh. God, we had a hell of a time getting past your bear. He was like, oh my God, it's gonna eat me. Oh, it's so stressful. Oh, okay, it's stressful, you're a good boy, aren't you? Are you okay? Can I you hold him or something? Oh, I'll just pop it, he should be, he's really yeah. good normally. He's just a bit, he's, he's a bit stressed. Oh, a bit yeah, stressed on your chest. He's a little bit stressed on you. Oh, it's a good boy, there we go. I'll give you some grass, you're a good boy. Do you want to take his reins off? Yeah. There we go. Good boy. Hi. Bless him, he'll be alright in a minute. He's chilling, aren't you? Find yeah, just... him. Oh, thank you, that's so kind. I was just saying, he saw your bear and was like, oh my god, that's, that's going to eat me. Oh my goodness. You're very good. really exciting. He's like, oh, I like it here. They give me carrots. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm doing a little vlog. I was like, well, we'll go to the pub. That'll be a fun video. <laughs> and now I've got that whole palaver. I had to get off. I've, I've never got off him before, but I was like, yeah. I just... I oh. to get off mine to leave the road works. But you know when you're just like, at this point, it's just a pride thing, isn't it? And there's no point in yeah. staying on, especially with the road. You were just, no, I, I was just that, like, yeah. no, it's not. Oh, oh Wood. You're so brave, aren't you? Look, Wood. What you got here? Mm. Can you get at it? But are you meant to tear it apart a bit, maybe? No, I don't think so. It's meant to be. It's they're meant to come in like a really tiny little hay net. Oh. Um. They have like a little mini version. Here you go. Look. Here you go. What you got? <laughs> Just like give it to him on the floor. Yeah, I feel like he's like he's like I don't know how to eat that. Oh, your child horses. Did you want a drink? Oh yes, please. Can I please have a latte? That would be lovely. Thank you so much. There you go. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? I know, I should have bought a string. That's a learning for next time. Although I suppose I could put you him on here. You string then... the hay net, I guess. Yeah, good boy. Okay. That's all right. Thanks so much. That's okay. Uh, here's good your boy. menu. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love it now. Good boy. Woo, well, we made it to the pub. Uh, Woody's there. He's got his little bite to munch block down there. I actually just saw the woman who we met earlier who hadn't hacked in a year. She was just hacking back along the road. Um, and actually one of the girls who works here has horses so she totally gets it and she was helping me out with Woody. They've been so nice. So I'm gonna sit here and order some some food and a drink. We've got our tack over here and it's still very quiet so it's quite nice really to be here early. Yeah, a bit more relaxed now. Just needs a moment. I've got my coffee down here with a little shortbread and I've just ordered a sausage bat. Yay. Almost ready to head home. So put Equilab back on. Once again, before we leave the pub, I'm setting up my Equilab to make sure that we have that same comfort, knowing that someone is keeping an eye on us, even on the way home. Although let's hope it's a little less dramatic than on the way there. Okay, Woody. 
we're gonna go past the, the bear again. But I believe in you. I do. You're gonna be great. Okay, Woody. Now there's a lot going on, but I know you're a brave boy. Just check we've got no traffic. I know you can do it. That's it. Don't you worry about the bear. Good boy. <laughs> well done. Good boy. No fuss. Oh yeah. Good boy. Let's Gary going yeah, let's Gary go home. Good boy. Oh, it's that side. Okay. I give you a bit of room because it's a bit steep. I don't want to stop your progress. <laughs> no, he's fine. Good boy. Well done. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You are just the best. Now I've got to shot it. Oh no, now we've got to shot it. What a little bit. Back. Back. Good boy. You're such a star. Shouting out. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Have a good one. Cheers, you too. Good boy.
<laughs> so there you have it. I've got home. I'm turning off my Equilab app and I know that we're home safe. And the person who I've sent it to will also be able to click on that link and see that the ride has ended. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much again to my sponsors, Equilab. The details for the app are in the description. The safety tracking feature is on the premium subscription of the app. But personally for me, it is worth it a thousand times over to just know that someone is keeping an eye on us and knows exactly where we are. I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. Leave me any questions or comments below and don't forget to subscribe. I post videos every Friday at 4pm BST, which is UK time. See you then. Bye.